हेलो फ्रेंड्स तो टुडे वी विल सी व्हाट इज मीनिंग ऑफ लैन दैट इज लोकल एरिया नेटवर्क सो बेसिकली लोकल एरिया नेटवर्क दैट इज लैन इज अ कलेक्शन ऑफ डिवाइसेस व्हिच आर कनेक्टेड टुगेदर इन अ फिजिकल लोकेशन लाइक बिल्डिंग ऑफिस और होम सो बेसिकली लैन कैन बी अ स्मॉल नेटवर्क और इट कैन बी लार्ज नेटवर्क सो इट कैन बी रेंजिंग फ्रॉम अ होम नेटवर्क विथ वन यूजर to an enterprise network with a thousands of users and devices it can be in an office or a school so regardless of size lan's single defining characteristic is that it connects all the devices that are in a single or a limited area like our home if we are having a laptop printer or say refrigerator or air conditioner or smartphone tablet then all these devices we connect to a single wireless home router right so generally then these devices can be considered as a part of the local area network that we call it as a lan so in contrary to the wide area network that is wan or metropolitan area network that is man these networks cover larger geographic areas some of the wan and man networks are generally created by connecting many lan networks together so let's see what is in a lan now so lan network can comprises of a cables access points switches routers and many other components that can enable devices to connect to internal servers web servers or other lan networks via wide area network so it can happen that there are two lan networks which are situated some distance apart and uh, could be in the different cities and those can connect with each other over a wan which is a wide area network so in recent days due to the rise of virtualization there is a lot of development happening for virtual lans which will be enabling network administrators to logically group network nodes and partition the networks without a need of a major infrastructure changes so for example if there is an office and that can have multiple departments such as accounting it support or administration and each of the departments computer could be logically connected to the same switch however it could be segmented to behave as if they are separate so that a person from one department won't be able to directly access the computers or data from the other department such as a person from accounting won't be directly able to access the data which is for it support so let's see what are the benefits of a lan so benefits of a lan are like similar to the benefit which we will generally have when we connect multiple devices together in a network so devices can use single internet connection so these devices can share files with each other they can print to shared printers and they can be accessed over a network so even if you connect to one network device you can access other devices which are in the same lan or even if you can control the other devices which are part of the lan so historically lans were developed in 1960 uh, it was mainly for the use by colleges universities and the research facilities such as the nasa which is a usa based uh, company and generally they use